Creative Cloud is great because it allows us to have the updates to all the software and have the newest version, newest features all the time. But Adobe have this thing where they move features around fairly randomly, and that can be quite confusing. Uh, so they uh, in, two, uh, in Premiere Pro 2015.2, they introduced high-quality playback. This is a while ago now, so this is like a year and a half ago now. And uh, the high-quality playback option Apparently, they were then they're saying that even if you selected full in here on the playback option, the version that was playing back in the window wasn't actually full quality at all. And when you press stop, it was then doing some additional rendering and giving you a higher quality version. But if you do select high quality playback, you now get the same quality as that paused version. So yeah, nothing new. This has been around for a while, as Premiere Bro uh, pointed out here as well. The high-quality playback feature made it its appearance, and evidently playback used to have a slightly softer look. Yeah. Well, we didn't know that, did we? Because that wasn't really made very clear at all. But now we have this option. So when should you use it? Because a lot of the time, you're not too worried about that. It's more about you know, getting the absolute maximum frames per second possible during playback. But something I have noticed today, and I thought I'd share with you, is the fact that when you're making changes, so if I'm changing something up here in uh, Lumetri Color, if I'm changing it and I don't have high quality playback selected, as it is at the moment now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, uh, but it, as I make a change to the temperature, while I have my mouse button clicked down, it shows me one change, so I'm going to change it now, and I'm going to move it over, and there, so I say I want it there, but when I let go, it actually changes that image slightly. So, so there we go, let's change our tint, and then let go, and we actually get a slightly different looking image, and in fact that's even shown in the waveform, so let's just move across to the waveform, I'm going to zoom in on the waveform a little bit, as I move this, let's just move it, you, can, you can't see it much because I'm not really changing much in the image, but as I let go, you can change the wave, you can, the waveform actually changes itself. So really, it's kind of impossible to set exactly what you want without high quality playback enabled. So if you enable high quality playback, and I just, I'm just going to reset these actually, what you get now is as you make a change, you let go, and it's exactly as you, as you saw that change as you were moving the slider. So I can move the slider to cool to say, yep, that's exactly where I want it, let go, no change whatsoever to the image. That, to me, is a, is a kind of fundamental thing that should be pointed out and uh, is crucial to, to kind of working when you're working with colour because you're doing this whole... Everyone talks about the whole push-pull thing with colour and, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're making tiny, tiny changes backwards and forwards and if you've, the monitor isn't even showing them correctly, then, you know, that, <laughs> it's not going to help at all. So, yeah, high-quality playback should definitely be enabled if you're making these kind of minor adjustments here because otherwise, let me just try and show you again, disable that and move, o move over to a change, let go, and it actually changes the colour. It's very subtle. I know you might not be able to see it too clearly once I get this rendered out for YouTube and what have you, but there is a change happening. Try it yourself. Just... Um, put something in, put a clip in, and uh, start messing around with the color, and then try messing around with it with high quality playback enabled. So yeah, to me, that's a really good reason to use high quality playback, and that's a difference that I haven't seen documented, but maybe it is, maybe it's a bug, who knows? But uh, there you go, <laughs> just another thought on high quality playback. Uh, do you use it, or do you just tend to go with frames per second? I think I tend to go with frames per second most of the time. If I'm honest, that's kind of key. 